नित्यानंद श्रीवासदी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वी कैन रीड फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम कैंटो फोर चैप्टर सेवन टेक्स थर्टी रिगो रुवाच जन्मा गहन या परतात्म बोधा जन्मा गहन या अपृहत आत्म बोधा ब्रह्मादयस्तनो ब्रतस्तमसी स्वपंत सोयम प्रसीद तो भात्म बंधु स्पेल एनर्जी and thus they are ignorant of their constitutional position everyone believes in the concept of the body and all are thus submerged in the darkness of illusion they are actually unable to understand how you live in every living entity as the super soul nor can they understand your absolute position but you are the eternal friend and protector of all surrendered soul therefore please be kind towards us and forgive all our offenses so brigomani is very nicely pointing out our precarious condition in this material world he saying right from lord brahma to the ant everyone is under the influence of maya influence of insurmountable spell of illusory energy birth death old age and disease we are all being subject to so because we may have the desire oh right now i'm just a ordinary human being i'm in this earthly planet let me do some pious activity and become a demigod but we have to understand even the demigods are under the spell of the illusory energy she is very 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 powerful here we are after all living in her kingdom and because of that we are ignorant of our constitutional position we have forgotten who we truly are we have forgotten we are eternal parts and parcels of krishna that we have a loving relationship with krishna we are just thinking we have the body and only thinking of the bodily relationships and this is the illusion and we are not able to understand that how krishna he is parmatma in everyone's heart not only in my heart your heart everyone's heart all the living entities and krishna's absolute position here brahmamuni saying now can they understand your absolute position so how many of us actually know krishna's absolute position you know we are unable to understand but he's pointing out that krishna is the eternal friend krishna says suhridam sarvabhutanam he himself says in bhagavad gita also brigamuni is saying the same thing so we can say that we can see krishna he always speaks on the basis of authority krishna does not just speak oh this is my mind and so i'm saying it no krishna uh, repeats authority here brigamuni is saying the same thing you are the eternal friend krishna is the friend he is our eternal friend he is our best friend he is in our heart as the parmatma no matter where we go no matter which body we take till the time we are in the material world he is there in our heart as parmatma oh but what happens why only till the time in the material world what about the spiritual world well in the spiritual world we can see krishna face to face 
So there is no need of Paramatma. Krishna is there having that relationship with us. In Golok Vrindavan is Krishna himself and in the other various Vaikuntha planets is one of the expansions of Krishna. As per our desire, we can go to any of these planets and associate with Krishna. And Krishna is being called the protector of all surrendered souls. If we surrender to Krishna, we are guaranteed all protection. And here Brigu Muni is asking for forgiveness for the offenses. Brigu Muni was conscious of the scandalous behavior exhibited by each and every one of them, including Brahma and Lord Shiva in the sacrificial ceremony of Daksh. Mm -hmm. Well, Brahmaji didn't personally do anything, but I guess he allowed all this thing to happen. Right? We didn't hear that Brahmaji actually yeah, doing. Brahmaji did not. Nothing but, was mentioned. But he was present. He was present. So by mentioning Brahma, the chief of all living entities within the material world, he wanted to state that everyone, including also Brahma and Lord Shiva, is under the concept of the body and under the spell of material energy, all but Vishnu. So only Lord Shiva, oh, I'm sorry, only Lord Vishnu, he is not under Maya. Even Lord Brahma and Lord Shiva come under the control of Maya, under the spell of material energy. That is the version of Bhrigu. As long as one is under the concept of the body as self, it is very difficult to understand the super soul or the supreme personality of Godhead. So if we think consciousness is with the body, you know, then we are not able to understand that, hey, but consciousness is with the soul, not with the body. Uh, and then if we are not able to understand that itself, then how will we understand the super soul? The super soul is also there. So conscious that he was not greater than Brahma, Brigu included himself in the list of offenders. So Brigu Muni is not saying, oh, only they did bad or I didn't do. He, he is also agreeing. He himself is also included in all this scandalous activities as he's pointing out. Ignorant personalities or conditioned souls have no choice but to accept their precarious condition under material nature. The only remedy is to surrender to Vishnu and always pray to be excused. So ignorant personalities or conditioned souls. So what is the ignorance? Ignorance is we have forgotten our eternal relationship with Krishna. We have forgotten our true identity. So now because of that, what we are doing is we are acting under the laws of material nature, the modes of material nature. Then how do we get out of here? What is the solution? Surrender to, surrender to Krishna. Surrender to Vishnu. That's what Krishna says also, Sarva Dharma Parityagya. He says abandon. He uses the word abandon. You know what does it mean? Abandon. Just, just Leave it as it is. Right away give it up. And surrender to me. This is the remedy that we have been given. So how do we surrender in this age of Kali? How? What, what does surrender mean? We surrender when we begin chanting Hare Krishna. When we begin hearing Bhagavad Gita from the authorities. Then we are beginning our surrender to Krishna. And then what do we pray? Pray to be excused. We don't even know what sins we have done. We really don't know what offenses we have committed. But what can we what can we do? We can pray to Krishna to excuse us. So what is the choice? Guru Maharaj always says, the Shla Prabhupada says, what is the choice that we have? The only choice we have is either to choose Krishna or to choose Maya. That is actually the only choice that we have. You know, what are we choosing? Under the modes of nature, we are always choosing Maya. But the correct choice is to choose Krishna. And then what to do? What to do? Oh, chanting the Hare Krishna mantra helps us with that. Shla Prabhupada says that by chanting the Hare Krishna mantra, we can easily and 
very quickly be situated in our original position. We can revive our eternal love for Krishna. So one should depend only on the causeless mercy of the Lord for deliverance and not even slightly on one's own strength. So does it mean that, oh, I don't do anything? Anyway, I have to wait for Krishna's mercy. Oh, anyway, it's just, uh, Prabhupada is saying, I have to wait for Krishna's mercy, so I'm just going to sit and do nothing. What? How can we see this? Anyone? We have to do our endeavors. Yeah, that's right. We do the endeavor and then we leave that, leave the deliverance on Krishna. Then have that faith. Avashya Rakshi by Krishna. I'm doing my part, Krishna will do his. We cannot, uh, you know, what do we say? Liberate ourselves, but we can choose Krishna. We can hear and we can chant. And we can appeal to Krishna for his causeless mercy. That is the perfect position of a Krishna conscious person. So then someone will say, oh, but that, like this, I'm being dependent on Krishna. What do you mean? Maybe I can jailbreak. I can break this jail of the material world and get out of here. But that is just our imagination that we'll be able to do it. Because Durga Devi is not going to let us go. She she won't. It's her, it's her domain. And she lets... Only the ones who are surrendered to Krishna. She only lets them go very easily. Well, some, some uh, personalities may be allowed to go, but because they have not yet surrendered to Krishna, the, what they can reach is only the impersonal Brahma Jyoti. But because of not having enough knowledge of the Vaikuntha planets, they will come back again to the control of Maya Devi. To, the, to this material world. So the Lord is everyone's friend, but he's especially friendly to the surrendered soul. Krishna says, I am a friend to him and he is a friend in me. He speaks for the devotee. So Krishna is our best friend. We have so many friends. You know, we have and we, we need friendships. We friends, friends are very dear to us. Um, it's a loving relationship or friendship is a loving relationship but the best friend everyone's friend and we can be someone's friend you know we can be someone's friend for a certain time but we can't be everyone's friend at the same time but Krishna can he is everyone's friend he's the best friend and he's especially friendly to the surrendered soul the simple process, therefore, is that a conditioned soul should remain surrendered to the Lord and the Lord will give him all protection to keep him, keep him out of the clutches of material contamination. So the Lord guarantees we surrender to him and Krishna guarantees that he will take care of us. Avishya Rakshibe Krishna. We simply have to appeal to Krishna. My dear Krishna, please save me. The uh, Prabhupada, there's a devotee is saying, he was saying that Prabhupada used to pray every night that, uh, my dear Krishna, please protect me from Maya. Prabhupada said, I pray this every night. My dear Krishna, please protect me from Maya. And Krishna does. Krishna fulfills all our desires. Whatever is our desire, Krishna fulfills. We simply have to appeal to Krishna. Should we stop here for today or you all want to? Uh, no, I have to leave. So okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So thank you so much. Did anyone want to add anything? No. Uh, I I just want to add that we must have attachment for Krishna, rather than having attachment with other relationships. Like how if a person, a man, or a woman has a, a relationship besides the husband, the spouse then you tend to have that attachment. So, you know, and then because with a lover, right, you will have the attachment with a lover. So rather than doing that, I think it's better, like, you know, how when we have, like, for the lover, like, because you tend to do things so that your spouse doesn't suspect. So that's how it happens, right? So rather, we, why don't we have attachment with a supreme lover? <laughs> Yeah. And that, yeah. 
Yes. Jai, yes. That's what the Acharya is saying. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, have attachment for Krishna. Very good. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Mat Bhagavatam ki jai, Shlokam ki jai, Gaur Bhaktavinda ki jai, Hare Krishna.